back in Bama, baby. I was just seeing if it'd be okay with you if I tried my luck chasing turkey around. Back in Bama, baby. Let's go say hi to my best friend Cheeto. I'm about to pee my pants. Oh, you are? Stop. 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 I'm gonna stop, Lee. <laughs> if y'all haven't met Cheeto, this is Cheeto. Hey. Oh. Uh, you can probably tell why people call him Cheeto. <laughs> Let me call you back when I get done peeing. Love you. Bye. You're not being for real right now, are you? What? I have to pee some that. Don't see. <laughs> Alright, well we were going to get our shotgun sighted in. It's turkey season. And then what are we gonna go do? We're gonna go knock on a door. Very special door. What about that door? It's got a lot, a lot of turkeys. Am I knocking on that door or are you knocking on that door? I'm pretty sure you're knocking on the door. <laughs> She just sent me a video this morning. There's like eight long beards in the field. And I'm like, why haven't you knocked on their door? He goes, too scared, too scared. <laughs> too nervous. So we're going to go tag team it today. Hopefully we'll land a new spot. Uh, if we don't get that, I think we're probably going to go back to where we hunted last year. I uh, actually ended up killing a bird there. Um, landed a bunch of farms door knocking. Going to go revisit those places just to make sure we still have permission. Hopefully we do. And uh, we're here all weekend to kill a bird. Alabama opening week of turkey season. I'm excited. Let's get it done. You need to pee now? Yes. That's pretty good. Everybody, this is Sullivan. What's your Instagram page? What's your Outdoors Instagram page? With Sully. Outdoors with Sully. All right, all you guys out there, we're gonna put his Instagram in this YouTube video. Y'all go show him some love. Okay, buddy? Okay. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> all right, you wanna go get some turkey spots? Yes. All right, let's go get some turkey spots. Yeah, that might not go well. Cheeto. This place is the animal refuge. No wonder there's a bunch of turkeys. Huh. She was like, uh... It's not a real animal refuge. No, she, I guess they just treated it more like one. She was like, absolutely not. This is an animal refuge. We don't kill animals here. Yeah. Is it? So... No? no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's really important that, uh, especially when you're using like a red dot sight, like this Vortex one that you get your gun sighted in. All right, ready? Yep. Ah, that thing kicks like a mule. <laughs> <laughs> We're good to go. We're gonna roost birds. <laughs> Still got it, baby. Yes. I was nervous there for a second, but super nice guy. And obviously visiting for the second year in a row, he's familiar with me. We got a little more of a friendship going now. He's like, as long as you bring it by me, I want to see it. If you have any luck, I said, you got it. So we've got this cow pasture over here and we've got this other track of land. 
Uh, and between these two places last year, I don't know how many birds we were on, but it was a bunch. So I think we uh, try to roost one or see if we don't see any of these fields real quick and then make a plan for the morning. So what's new for Alabama this year is, I can't remember if it's the first week or the first two weeks, I'd have to look it up. But you cannot hunt over decoys this year, uh, at least in the first week. And, uh, you know, I think sometimes that helps. I think sometimes they hurt you. But in these fields like this, I think they're a big help. But we're going decoyless. So we hunted here last year. How many gobblers do you think were in, that field, in this field that one morning? Four or five. It was just freaking loaded. We ended up killing one way down the road, but this place had a bunch of birds last year. So we're just sitting up here hoping to hear something gobble. And I think the plan is to bury up probably in the corner of this field tomorrow morning. And then hopefully they'll pitch out and maybe pitch out into it, but I think they'll work their way out into it in the morning. And if it's dead over here, we got that other place we just drove by that also has birds, so. I think we give it our best go here in the morning and then if we need to scramble around move over to that other place. birds in this field right now holy crap Thomas <clears throat> wait till you <laughs> wait till you see this look at them all yeah I think there's like 16 birds that I counted there's at least two or three long beards in there let's make a move on these things I don't need to find out who owns that property oh that guy owns a bunch of property we can make a play. If we, if we can get a yes, we can make a play on those birds. We were literally about to wrap up, go get lunch, and just, you know, make a play for the morning. But if we can get a spot here, dude, we can we can make a play on these birds for sure. I'll tell you right now, we're living off the Spartan Forge app right now. It's it is the best mapping app on the market and we'd be lost if we weren't able to find where all these people live using that app. Hey, how are you, hey, sir? I'm good. I got a question for you. You by the, by the way I'm dressed, you can probably tell what I'm what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> We've been getting our tails whooped this morning chasing turkeys around and uh, I saw an I believe the field one of you that you have right here. There's about fifteen I, I, or twenty we of don't them. Want them hunting. I'm sorry. We don't want them hunting. Not you, right. Not. We got a whole flock of them out here. About twenty of them. Yes, sir. So y'all y'all wouldn't uh, no, allow me to try and get one. Not. 
not because it's you. We don't want to let anybody do it. it wasn't. Have you all been asked before? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. There used to be about 40 or 50 of them. Split up somewhere. It's hard to tell how many of them are out there, but there's a pile of them. There's a pile of them, yeah. They're on, they're on the other side uh, is where I was asking to, to, to try and give it a, a shot on hunting them. But, um, you mean the woods back behind my house? The woods, yes, sir, back behind uh, where your old barn is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of all that property way back over there uh, is where I was looking to maybe try. Yeah, who are you? My, so my name's Lee. Lee, Lee Ellis. Ellis. Yes, sir. Oh. I love hunting, and uh, you know I don't. <laughs> we've been well, we've been I, getting I, it whooped I this morning. So somebody else, so I really don't feel free to. Even if it was just for an hour, right now, just giving it a shot. Um, one time. Well, all I'm asking is one try, one time. I'll go ahead. Can I shake your hand? Okay, Don. Sure. I'm old. I can't get Th out. Thank you. Right now. All right, thank you, sir. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Okay, okay. All right. good. Have a good day. You too, Yes, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Thomas, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I'm about to freak out. <laughs> Did you hear that conversation? Yes, the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. Let's go get us a bird. He don't let anybody hunt, but he's like, I mean, you heard him. He's like, just, just today, just today, one time. <sighs> yes. Yeah, there's the gate. I think we just keep hogging the creek. Get up on top, get up above him. side there on that they can walk up that wood line because that wood line's got shade on it this is all in the sun it's a risk but i think we need to get on that side of the field take the wood line as much as we and get as close as we can get set up and maybe do some light yelp and see if we can't kind of coax them to us but we're gonna have to be really really careful ideal but we've got water in between us and the birds we can't go around because it's totally exposed over there we've got cows over there too and our plan was to get into one of these trees right here and try and call them across this pond down but it's just all water so I think we're gonna try and ease through this we're gonna move with the wind which we got a good wind right now to cover our, our sound and movement and we're gonna try and get through this water and just to see if we can make something happen.
just over the crest of it if we can get up past all this water. I think we can sit up and try and call it to us. Freaking believable, dude! How long have we been stalking in here? Over an hour. It's about as unconventional as it gets. That was un. But we literally stalked but, it. Well, we worked for it. They, they look like pterodactyls all running back to me. I don't know what happened. Not pterodactyls. Pterodactyls fly. Raptors. Yeah. Velociraptors. How this panned out, I have no idea. But for them to come running back like that, I don't know what they were running from. How cool is that? That's pretty wild. Oh my gosh, man. Yes. Alabama bird, man. You know how tough that was last year on us, how many trips we made over here? Got it done on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord, man. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, man. Here's my shotgun shell. Y'all having any luck? You don't even try to, like, act like you <laughs> I ain't even gonna try this time. Yes, sir. Dude, you will not believe this hunt. All right, the last thing I want to do is go tell that homeowner who gave us permission to hunt his land a big thank you. So let's drive over there and visit with him real quick. Wrap this thing up. <clears throat> I just, I just wanted to come back by and say thank you. I did have some luck. We, uh, they're really smart birds and we had to sneak through some water. You got a little bit of a swamp back there to get, oh, I know it. To, get to one. Uh, if you hadn't said yes to me, 
this wouldn't have happened, and I'm really grateful you've absolutely made made my day. So thank you for for letting us hunt today. I love people like that. Today would not have been possible if that guy just didn't say yes. So, any of you people out there listening that got some good property, be keen to say yes when somebody knocks on your door now. 